Hello friends and welcome back to our daily women's devotional, I Am Loved, edited by Carolyn Rathbun Sutton. Today is December 2nd and the title of our devotional is Patience is a Fruit, written by Elaine Oliver. The Bible verse is found in Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. And those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Elaine writes, While recently reading Galatians chapter 5, verse 22 to 24, I paused to ponder the fruit of patience. I remembered the saying, patience is a virtue. True, but what does it really mean? What are we trying to say when we use this phrase? Most times, when I've heard it said, it is an admonition to someone who isn't really exercising patience. I thought, God who created us knew that this might be an issue for human beings and so he included it in the fruit bowl of virtues that we need to have in order to experience optimal relationships. The funny thing is that it's easy to have patience when we don't need it. Patience is one of the virtues along with self-control that lies dormant until a situation requires it. When my husband is being nice to me and doing exactly what I want him to, I'm the most patient person on the planet. But if he decides to try to find a new destination without a map or GPS, the fruit of patience goes missing from the fruit bowl. It's nowhere to be found. Today's text wraps up by stating that those who belong to Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. In other words, as followers of Christ, we have to crucify or kill our human passion and desires that do not reflect Christ's character. It sounds so dramatic, but it is necessary because the human heart is desperately weakened. So every day we have to surrender ourselves fully to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. It is only through God's power that we're able to find patience in the midst of challenging relationship situations. And here's the beauty of how amazing God is. He made our brains with the capacity to learn new things and new ways of being. He's longing to do something new in us. If impatience is a struggle for us, we can learn how to be patient. And it is God who gives us the power to find patience. Today we can find true freedom by allowing Christ to give us the power to exercise patience when it's needed. This freedom liberates us from living by our feelings. Rather, we live as those who have been transformed into Christ's likeness. Elaine Oliver, a wife, mother of two, and disciple of Jesus Christ, is a certified family life educator. She serves as Associate Director of the Department of Family Ministries for the General Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. A doctoral candidate in educational psychology, she holds master's degrees in counseling psychology and higher adult education. She has been married to Willie Oliver for 30 years. She loves orchids, bush tea, cupcakes, and long walks on the beach. I can agree with this devotional 100%. Patience seems to be one of the easier things in the fruit bowl, right? Up until you're in a difficult situation and that patience goes out the window. Today, I challenge us to write down how many times we are patient during our day and how many times we actually lose our patience. Once we become aware of our own fruits, it'll be easier for us to be like Christ. Why not start today? I hope you're blessed, you enjoyed today's devotional, and I will see you again tomorrow. <music>